what's the question that they always ask? What are you studying? What do you want to do? I don't know. And that's an unfair question because the assumption behind the question is that you need to know. Why don't you have the answer? Why can't you be like your older sister? She knew she was going to be a doctor since she was a fetus. What's wrong with you? <laughs> right? But I want you to hear this from the mouth of a, a certified career counselor who's helped thousands of students find their direction in life. It is okay to not know what you want to do after you graduate Stockton. It's okay to not know what you want to do after you graduate from here, but it is not okay to be comfortable with not knowing. And I was, I was in the little kid pool and I looked down at the little kid pool and right at my feet, was a, was a $20 bill. It's $20, who wouldn't pick it up? Raise your hand if you would pick up $20. Because you'd want the $20. Raise your hand if you want $20. Raise your hand if you want $20. Who, want, who wants $20? <laughs> Give him a hand. Everybody raised your hand when I said, do you want to have an awesome job when you graduate? Everybody raised your hand when I said, who wants to have a great time for the next couple years? And then everybody raised your hand when I said, who wants $20? But do every single one of you have $20 right now in your pocket? No, who does? Brad. Why? Brad took the steps that were necessary to achieve what he said he wanted to achieve. Raising your hand is just wishing. That's all it is. And if wishing brought success, every single one of us would have dream careers and we'd be millionaires. Every single one of us. Wishing doesn't breed success. Action is what breeds success. Brad got out of his chair, he took action. So in the next couple years, you need to take action to make the most of your time here at Stockton. Thank you so much for being a good audience. My name is Jacob. Have a great day.